This is a different chimeric antigen receptor T cells. Um, they're similar in the sense that the CAR T is made from the patient's own blood, but the uh, CAR receptor that's transduced is different. So in myeloma, uh, the, the plasma cells don't express CD19. So in this case, the patient's own T cells are transduced to express or, or genetically changed to um, target cells that express BCMA or a B cell maturation antigen. And that's what's uh, almost universally expressed on plasma cells or myeloma cells. So in this study, which is a phase one study, we have nine centers that participated and also with central manufacturing. We, uh, it's, a, it's a traditional phase one, which is a three plus three design with an expansion cohort. And so to date, we have uh, enrolled 24 patients. We were able to make the CAR T cells, the BB2121 for all 24 patients. Uh, we've treated 21 patients. And at the time of the data cutoff, 18 patients uh, were treated long enough to be assessed for response. So the initial intention of the trial is to, the, the first part, the 3 plus 3 design, is testing a increasing doses of CAR T cells to find out what's the, the safe BB2121 dose. And so to date, we've tested in the range of 50 million up to 800 million BB2121 total dose, and each patient just get one dose. So what we found is that other than the very first dose cohort where we've only had one patient with a partial response uh, for a short time, all the patients that's been treated subsequently, the next three doses, 150 million up to 800 million, every patient that's evaluable for response had responded. And patients who had a deeper response, what we call very good partial response or greater in myeloma is 73% or higher. And the patients who had a complete response is 27%. In myeloma, we also look at what we call minimal residual disease negative status, which means by a very sensitive genetic testing, we weren't able to find any myeloma cells left. And by that testing criteria, four patients were evaluable for that and they were all negative. We saw the clearance of the plasma cell from the bone marrow as early as 14 days. And so far, patients are still remaining in response. Nobody has relapsed. The earliest patient treated that's still responding is approaching a year. And interestingly, in this study so far, we haven't really seen any severe neurologic events. And the cytokine release syndrome has been pretty manageable and reversible as well. So this is also very, very exciting data for multiple myeloma.